Hi, good morning. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Um, if you're watching me regularly, you know I recently bought um, a Noe bag. Um, in, uh, I bought actually two and I uh, to compare sizes and I kept larger one. Thank you everybody for uh, commenting below and majority of you <clears throat> agreed with me Sorry, I'm still not over my cold. So, um, majority of you agreed with me that a bigger size it fits me better. So, thank you so much for your comments. Um, it just reassured me uh, in my choice. And um, the thing is with bag, what it has a lot of a cheddar. Here's the bag. I already returned the, the another size. Here's the bag. So usually you buy a Bello Viva bag and it's like Vachetta handle, Vachetta trim, the most Vachetta you get. But with this one, I got whole Vachetta bottom, which is, of course, worries me a little bit. Um, I don't baby my bags a lot. They're meant to be <clears throat> worn and um and used but i try to take care of them as much as possible so i decided to protect them with the apple brand guard rain and stain repellent this guy here i heard about this a lot but recently um one of the viewers commented that she treats and um her um name is tippy toe Hi, thank you for commenting. And <clears throat> she treats her uh, bags with Apple brand Guard Rain and Stain repellent, repellent. So I decided to get one and try it. First, I wanted to do it off the camera, but then I <clears throat> realized it's gonna be a kind of cool video to do. I didn't watch none of them. I'm pretty sure that tons of them are like that, but um, I decided to do it on camera. I'm nervous. I know it works with most of you guys, but um, I'm still a little bit nervous. It just, I just got this bag, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, Test it on another bag, on another Louis Vuitton bag, this cutie here. Uh, the reason is I'm testing on it, there are a few reasons, because I got this bag pre-loved and it already came with a stain. I have actually a review on this bag, so it came with a stain. So if, I, if this ruined this, I mean, it's already a little bit ruined and I am thinking to replace it, uh, replacing those handles in the first place. So I think it's okay to test on it. Okay, so let me read instructions first. And for that, I need my eyeglasses. Hold on a sec. Okay. First, I'm gonna <clears throat> spray on this and let's see what happens. But I'm gonna protect the rest of the bag with a paper towel because I have no clue what color fast means. Does it mean colored or just colored, but with certain dye? I, I have no clue what it is. So I'm gonna protect the edges of my guinea pig. So I'm gonna do this kind of stuff. I don't think it's gonna do something with the canvas or will it? Okay, I'm gonna protect canvas too. So basically that's what I'm doing and six and nine inches in sweeping motion. Okay, <laughs> moment of truth. Actually, um, I'm gonna do it this way, okay. Six and nine inches. Oh my God. You know what, let me do on another side of the handle, which already a little bit stained. Like this one. So we're testing, remember. Oh, 
Okay. So what I see immediately, it darkened, even though it darkened the cheddar. So what reviews say, the darkness gonna go away when it dries out. So we'll see. So I'm gonna come back to you in 30 minutes, like it says, and see what happened. Again, I want you to take a look at the handle and I'm gonna come back to you in 30 minutes. I'm back. So um, it actually was more than 30 minutes. I got caught up watching um, Real Housewives of New York. And uh, okay, so let's see. Let's see what happened. Hmm. Well, see for yourself. So I do think the darkness disappeared. What do you think? But remember, it already was, um, was, uh, this bag was already patinaed. At least I don't see any streaks or anything. So I guess I'm gonna proceed with the, or it is different. You know what, now I'm so all confused. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it and um, I'm gonna do it right in front of you. The thing is, if it's gonna get dark a little bit, it's better than to have dirty stains and um, all kind of stuff. So completely new bag. Six, eight inches. This is six, eight inches sweeping motions. Okay, I have to see it back. So I'm gonna turn it towards me. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. Let's do this. It says do not sock. Okay, that's how it looks right now. Now I'm gonna do trains do you guys see yeah looks scary first time you do it but you know what I hope you guys see what I'm doing. Okay. Well, remember what it says though. It says, wait 30 minutes and repeat. Probably for a reason that you gonna miss like bits there, there for a first time. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. So. Oh, oh, okay, so obviously it's not been 30 minutes, but those um, patches disappeared, guys. Look. So, looks pretty good to me, it looked very scary in the beginning and it's not been 30 minutes okay so see here here's a little bit different let's see how this gonna even out so far, 
so good just notice this i don't know why it came out like that but see if this is gonna even out it's actually on the inside of this strap it's in this part here a little bit glued on part glued on let me i wonder let me see this okay yeah so let's see what happens and i'm gonna wait again 30 minutes and this time i'm gonna repeat and i'm gonna start wearing this bag Whew. okay but i'm telling you again already now i don't feel see any spots or something horrible happening to the bag okay i'm gonna go continue watching reunion part part two of new york <coughs> real housewives and come back after that and repeat i'm back <clears throat> okay let's see what happened um so 30 minutes passed Speak for yourself. Nothing bad happened. Well, this is stayed the same, but I truly think it was like that in the beginning because if it would be spray issue, it wouldn't be that precise. It's where top piece glued on previous piece. It's like different piece of the, and I think it was, well, it's untreated, untreated vachetta, so I guess it was initially different color. Looks like it to me, but that but doesn't bother me because it's on the inside so far i don't see any spots or uneven coverage or something so i'm gonna do again they say to repeat in 30 minutes i'm gonna repeat it and my bag ready to go okay let me do it again shake it shake it shake it i'm not that nervous anymore obviously And now I'm going to do a lot of trim. So let's see see the spot so it's I just sprayed it so supposedly it has to vanish it's vanished everything else so basically what happens it evaporates and uh, you probably need to wait 30 minutes to do second coat that's what is 30 minutes about but it evaporates right away so don't be scared when it gets so even that spot we had here it's already gone so basically, uh, I guess it works, guys. So in terms of at least, it didn't ruin my bag. Because some, um, I get mixed reviews about it. Most of them are good reviews about that Apple uh, Guard. But um, I uh, had a red review, somebody saying they spread their light Chanel bag with that and it stained it. So probably depending on the leather. So, so far, so good with Vachetta, Louis Vuitton Vachetta leather and um, untreated leather. 
all you have to do is read instructions carefully. Well, let's see. Well, it worked in terms of not ruining the bag. Uh, let's see how well it will prevent it from water and some dirt and spots and fingerprints, like greasy stuff. So supposedly water should repel. I'm not gonna test it, okay? I'm not gonna test it, but supposedly if I if I would put the water, it will just, should I try? No, I don't wanna do that. Uh, it will just um, slide right over. So I will let you know how it works. I will do review on this bag a um, few months from now, and when I'll do review, I'll tell you how Apple Guard hold its reputation, okay? And it does say that you have to treat the bag periodically, so it's not like you did it once and forget about it. It looks like you have to do it um, there and there, I don't know how often, but okay my bag is ready to be used that's it for now i hope i hope you like this video i hope you find it helpful again thank you to tippy toe for uh commenting and letting me know how she treats her louis vuitton which is a leather um but i do hear a lot about this stuff and some other stuff but i decided to test this ones i got it on amazon i don't remember how much it was but uh it's not expensive but i would say it depends on the uh, size of the bag it's not gonna last you long um thank you for watching if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing mm, if you are already subscribed thank you for uh watching and commenting um if you guys had experience with the apple uh guard uh apple brand guard rain and stale repellent please comment below what what's your experiences are and uh until then bye and i'll see you in my next video yeah, by the way, don't forget to click that bell button so you get notified um, notified about uh, videos I post. I try to post them every week. And also go to my channel. And at the top, there is an Instagram handle. And it will direct you to my Instagram page uh, where I post also. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.